So this very beautiful plant behind me with the yellow flowers is called yellow bush. Ha, no it's not. It's called bristle bush, although I think it should be called yellow bush, but then in the summer months when it's got no flowers, you, you wouldn't really know what it's called. And, and it's brittle all the time. All right, so it's called brittle bush, all right? And it does not have small leaves. It's not microphyllous. It's got quite big leaves. And so this plant tends to be reasonably drought deciduous. It will drop its leaves in the hot dry months because it can't afford to supply those big leaves with enough water. But it can remain active throughout um, some of the summer months with some of its leaves. So it has to have some other adaptations. And we're going to have a closer look at its leaves in a moment to look at some of those uh, leaf adaptations. So as you can see, it's got fairly large leaves and the leaves are kind of a silver or grayish in color. And if you touch the leaves with your fingers, they feel really smooth and fuzzy. And if I scrape it with my nail, sometimes you can scrape off some of that fuzz. All right. So the leaves are covered in trichomes. These are little leaf hairs and these really have a dense, thick covering of trichomes. And the trichomes have a number of different roles. One is they help reflect sunlight, keeping the leaves a bit cooler. Um, second, they make a boundary layer around the leaf so that water that's lost from the leaves um, hangs around in that boundary layer, creating an area of high humidity. And so the plant loses less water by transpiration. So the trichomes really enable this plant to have much larger leaves than it otherwise uh, could have. An easy way to recognize the plant this time of year is you'll see that the flowering spikes are quite distant from the leaves. So there's kind of the leaves end just there. And then you've got this long flower spike and flowers at the end. And the flowers actually resemble sunflowers because they're related to sunflowers. And when they make seeds, the little seeds just look like miniature sunflower seeds. All right, so it's called brittle bush, of course, because it's got very brittle stems that just snap. Okay. 